Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. If you recall, in our previous episode, we took a look at the beta version 1.40, but in the episode before that, we took a shot at the first stage of the Grand Tour achievement, which is five perfect deliveries in the Baltic area. And we almost made it, literally 20 minutes away from our final destination. I sideswiped a truck coming from the other direction, and we screwed it all up. But that's left me with the feeling, it's like, I need to get that achievement now. Now, it's personal. So we're gonna start at this again. We're gonna try to accomplish stage one. We're gonna try to grind out these five stages and pick out this achievement. Now, the challenging part about it is you can't be late, you can't get any fines, and you can't have any damage to the truck. That's the part we screwed up last time when we sideswiped a truck, did a few thousand dollars worth of damage to it. That blew it all. So we're going to jump right in. Let's get started. We're back on 1.39 with our traditional uh, Zilla Blitz trucking expedition. And I saw here, this will work great. because this. So the five countries are, by the way, you have to make a trip between Russia and Lithuania in either direction. It's fine. That's one. Lithuania and Latvia. That's another one you have to do. Latvia and Estonia. Estonia and Russia, and Russia and Finland. So we're going to try to pick up the Estonia to Latvia. Latvia. This will take us three hours and 48 minutes, a nice short run. We're going to take gasoline, what could possibly go wrong, going from Paldiski to Riga. So let's get this going. I think, by the way, this will be the 100th external contract that I've done in the game. So yeah, another milestone achieved. It's not an achievement or anything like that, I don't think. It might be on the World of Trucks website, but... I don't really follow those too much. So we are back with 1.39. Your trailer is ready. Proceed to the loading area. All righty. When I last left, we were trying to repair our truck here. Now it is after that side swiping. So we are, looks like about a 12 minutes away from our pickup. So we'll get to our pickup and then we'll hook it up and we'll get started here. See you in a little bit. All righty. So we are all hooked up and ready to go here going to do one little adjustment on the microphone. I think we should be set to go. We've got our tanker full of NSO oil and off we go. I have a question for everybody too as we get started here. Well, we'll talk about it as we get on the way. There's a comment that we picked up on a much earlier video. I'm curious to hear what people think, but we'll address that as we get going here. Feels good. I haven't driven for about a week and a half or so. I started, I may have started playing a little bit of Valheim, which I'm not sure how many people have played it, and it's super fun. And then work was kind of busy, and it's still keeping up with the Football Manager series, so this one slid away a little bit, but I am not leaving this game, that's for sure. Do not fear. At least one episode a week, and hopefully two going forward now. So, we are underway. This is a rather short trip, so we'll kind of touch base a little bit, and again, it has to be perfect. No fines, no damage for us to get leg one here. I am suddenly nervous again, reminding myself about that. We'll, um, we'll get on the road here. Got a few things to chat about, and then, uh, then we'll see if we can finish this up and get our first stage done. See you in a bit. We are on the highway about a half an hour underway and making good time here. 90 kilometers an hour, stretch of road, two-lane highways. It's flying along straight. It's got a little bit of an aggressive speed limit, so I'm taking it a little bit conservative, but so far, so good. Haven't hit anything yet. Of course, we're only half an hour in. That's pretty hopeful. Um, one of the things I noticed, though, two things kind of after shooting that 1.40 beta episode. Uh, as I was driving 1.40, I felt like the visuals were improved, right? That was certain. I felt definitely they were better. But it was only when I started editing it later that I really noticed the difference. When I was looking at the video footage of the driving, it was, it just, the, the difference was eye-poppingly beautiful. I mean, it really looks a lot more real with the new lighting system. So more so than even when I was driving it, after I started editing it and looking at some of the shots and stuff like that, I was really impressed with kind of how much better it was. Do I need gas? Nope, we're good. And now, the, the second comment, the second observation is, coming back to the game now, whoa, coming back to the game now after having driven 1.40 to come back to 1.39 with its graphics, now I even notice a difference in graphic level a lot more. So 
I'm really excited for 1.40. I still don't know when it, I don't know if anyone knows when it's coming out. It, the date still isn't announced, but they keep putting out like announcements and videos and saying we're finishing up the last stages and all this kind of stuff. I, I feel like we should have a date by now. Like it, it should be really close, but they're kind of keeping their cards tight to their chest here and uh, not really showing us what's coming up. But, oh God, a rotary. I hate rotaries when I can't hit anything. Why well, I don't like them anyway, but okay. Just because the rotary traffic AI is, it's eternally deadly. I wonder if it's better in 1.40. Probably not, right? Okay, well, looks like we made it through that one. And so far, so good. Two and a half hours left. We'll, uh... Oh, Parnu, a new city, our 17th out of 35. So we are almost halfway for the Baltic Explorer achievement here in the city of Parnu. We'll, uh, we'll be back shortly. Kind of go a little bit more, and I have a question for people I'd love to get your opinions on. All righty, we are a little under two hours to go, cutting through some Baltic forest land here. Nice drive. I, I, I realize it's only... A little bit after 6, 6.30 in the morning here in the game. And uh, the sun's been up for a while here, so we, I keep forgetting we have those Scandinavian summer hours in this game. Whoops, they're not going to catch me speeding here. Watch the speed limit. I did have a question for people, though. And my question is this, as I'm trying to reach forward and hit the keyboard here. So there was a comment on one of the earlier videos that said you should have more external views in the videos so kind of things like this taking a look from the outside of the truck and stuff like that and it's I, i'm not sure i'm kind of curious what do people think would things like that be more interesting it's something i really haven't messed around with and i know people put quite a few comments on videos throughout the series saying they like the this series because it's a different it's the point of view the driver's point of view and that's the way i generally play the game is this way because i feel like that's a more realistic driving experience but I'm curious, would more external views like that be interesting to people? Let me know down in the comments below. Is it something that I'm thinking maybe like a couple minutes in a video would be cool? But I don't think I really want to make it kind of the the signature of the series or something I, I generally generally record in. Because I do feel like this point of view is kind of an element of the series that gives it a little bit of a different appeal perhaps than some of the other series that are out there. Uh, on your truck simulator too. So let me know what you think. I'm kind of curious to hear what um, what your opinion might be on that. And so it uh, looks like we've got about an hour and a half left. We'll touch base as we get closer to our final destination. So far, perfect. Haven't hit anything while we were away either. And I don't think I've gotten any fines. i got to get the speed up here though. We've got about less than an hour to go and uh, still, fingers crossed, no damage. It was like at a half an hour or so where we did that side swipe in the last episode so fingers crossed we can make it this time i am curious is anybody else out there playing uh, valheim as well it's whoop, 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 whoop. don't want to get a speeding ticket got to pay attention um i'm curious anybody playing valheim it's i mean i think i just looking i think they have something like over a half million players or something like that now which is just nuts oh they sold four million copies and they had 500,000 concurrent players on Steam, which makes it, I think it's in the top five already or something like that. It's a pretty fun game, and I'm kind of interested to check it out multiplayer too. The other thing I also checked out, which is more in the vein of Euro Truck Simulator 2, is during the last sale, I picked up SnowRunner on the Epic Game Store, and I loaded up and did quite a quick look-see of that game. That looks quite fun if you like driving vehicles and games too. It's a trucking sim, but it's much more adventurous, which is harder missions, and you kind of open up areas. It's got a lot more of a game element to it, I think, than your truck simulator does to uh, two does. But I'm curious if anyone else has played that out there. I might do a series on that, but I'm really leery to kind of start too many things. Bitte rechts halten. So uh, yeah, but let me know if have you played Snow Runner. Do you like it, or are you playing Valheim? And what do you think about it? I'm kind of curious. Uh, but looks like we got about 17 minutes left. Some final turns here. Still no damage, no fines. And on time. World of Trucks deliveries, again, are pretty easy to get on time because you have so many hours of real time. And it's usually 10 or 20 or something like that. So 
Unless I were to just leave the game for 20 hours, we're pretty good. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to navigate these last few minutes, and then we'll see if we get uh, as we get closer to arriving at our final destination. Riga should be a new city, I think. As we get in here. Oh, it looks like actually we're almost here. Let's just stay here. Is this going to give us... Oh, 57. No. Oh, look, they have a little the metered speeding. I haven't seen that. That seems new. So, things we want to be careful of in the city. We want to watch out for speeding violations. We want to watch out for red lights. And we want to watch out for other cars. I do wonder, too, with the new version of the game, with 1.40, and they've changed the lighting system, and they mentioned that they had to redo all the models in the game. One of the mods that I really like are the ones that create a lot of different versions of cars and trucks in the game. And I'm guessing they either won't work with the new version, with 1.40, or they'll work, but they won't. They'll kind of stand out because graphically they're just going to be a lot different. But I really like the AI vehicles because it adds a lot of trucks and cars from real companies and just a lot more variety to the cars that you see in the world. And I'm hoping that those mods can be redone relatively quickly. Okay, we're going to go right here. I don't want to get a red light here. All right, coming through here. That looks like our destination. Fingers crossed. Maybe we'll get this. We have to park it too, right? Oh, is this going to be that 90 parking where we have to park at that angle straight ahead? 90. It's on the right side, isn't it? We've parked here before. Yeah, all right. Let's take this on again. Okay, well, I'm going to kind of line this up and see how we do. This one was hard last time. I totally screwed it up. I have to come around this way. But I'll get, I'll get it lined up, and then we'll come back. This is hard. I haven't done this for a while, and I'm screwing it up completely. I've made, like, four backs or something like that. I'm learning, but it's, it's, it's taken a while to go in. I keep trying to... We have to cut it at an angle, and I keep hitting on the left side of the truck, so I'm not making it. So I have to adjust how I do this, and I'm just not figuring it out quick enough. This feels a little better. And I can't see where I'm supposed to end up and then when I swing the truck this way it hits the outside maybe this is better now I cut it can we make it might get it now yes that looking pretty good I gotta get it straight though don't we I think this is better though this is improved at least we can we can fix this alrighty so I just have to move to the right now completely missed it so, I mean, yeah. <laughs> we parked it right. We just missed the spot. So, okay. I got to go to my left. Yep. Oh, nice. <laughs> Fairly generous. It gave it to us. <laughs> Not the best parking job there, but we've got it. Now, I think we hit T. Is that going to give us a little pop-up for one of five? Not that achievement? Yeah? Yes! Achievement progress. Ooh, Turkish Delight. We already had that. Um, achievement progress. Grand Tour Stage 1. Complete. We got it. Perfect. No delays. No damage. And no fines. Excellent. We picked up 9,000 euros. About 400 experience. Nibbling our way towards level 27. And that should wrap us up for today. Thanks so much for tuning in. Next episode, Stage 2. Who? How many trips, I wonder, is it going to take us? Thanks so much. Uh, we'll see you again in the next episode. I'm going to try to do Wednesday, Sundays going forward. So this one will be Sunday, then Sunday, Wednesdays, two episodes a week going forward because I want to make more progress in this too. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Have a great rest of the weekend, and we'll see you next week. Take care, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye.